pick a hero. This is my tempo. Hey guys, I don't see this marksman being picked off anymore, but Broly is still pretty strong even in the current meta. His ult just deals so much damage. But before we continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. Nowadays, almost everybody has heard about trading and investing in stocks and crypto, but many people think it's too complicated and risky when they first heard about it, including me. That's why All In Trade is an excellent broker platform where you'll be able to find reliable sources of information on how to trade easily and not make grave amateur mistakes. Also, by registering, you'll be giving a demo account with 10,000 virtual currency so you can practice trading without the risk of losing actual money. Once you feel comfortable and understand how it works, you can start with just as little as $10 and from there, as you gain more confidence, you can start building your portfolio slowly. Just like many people, since last year, I also started to get curious about the stock market and currently I'm investing in ETFs and blue chip companies. This is not professional advice, but in my opinion, if you have most of your savings in the bank and are not investing at all, you're actually losing money because of inflation. So feel free to use the link in the description and start trading now with Olim Trade. Since Marksman cleared the jungle slower than before after the latest update, I'm asking Hylos to help me clear the buff a lot faster. But I was quite surprised when I saw that Hylos didn't level up his second skill or just decided not to use it. That's pretty weird because the idea is to clear the jungle as fast as possible. That took me by surprise, never did I expect they would attempt to steal my red buff. I guess from now on, I will always pan around the map and make sure nobody's trying to do any sneaky play. A lesson that I will probably never forget. This cyclo really like to do sneaky plays. Nope. That was unfortunate, but at least getting this kill is better than nothing. I almost got hit by Selena's error again. 
Selena is probably one of the heroes that I dislike playing against the most. I usually tend to pay more attention to the minimap, but when playing against her, I need to change my playstyle a little bit. This Selena really wants some Brody's not. I feel quite popular in this game. Four of us can easily burst down even a tank like Basha. This is the reason I prefer Blotto's Axe for Brody. His skills deal so much damage, so he regains a lot of HP with Spell Vamp. I try using both Endless Battle and Blotto's Axe together, but I would recommend you sticking to one, or else you will either lack some damage or sustain. My teammates overstayed their welcome. I was just hoping I could finish the turtle while they were distracting the enemy. Remember that you can use the creeps as a stepping stone to dash further with Brody's second skill.
Rosie's ult just deals so much damage when the target is fully marked. Selena is really my kryptonite, but to be fair, when I'm in good condition, I usually can dodge it very easily. I was planning to take the red buff, but once I saw my teammates fighting, I had to go help them instead. This is definitely not looking too good. We gotta survive to fight another day. It's really important that I don't die here, or else we're going to have a very hard time winning the next fight.
When you feel that like you are the main focus, it's really important to keep repositioning during the team fight. If you die first, your team is going to struggle because of the lack of damage. 